24.2 workout has been released. Uh, just a little strategy and tip video here. 20 minute AMRAP, we have uh, 300 meter row with 10 deadlifts and 50 double unders. Uh, right off the bat, 20 minute AMRAP, know that we need to find a steady pace and not just come out too hot with this workout, okay? Uh, it ends up being a lot of rowing, so know our pace there. A uh, couple strategies, if you know your 2K pace, uh, if you have your average 500 meters, so my 2K pace is uh, 148, my 2K time is 712, so I know 148, I'm going to subtract 5 seconds from that 148, and 143 is going to be my goal for the most part. Um, it's a little different depending on the athlete, uh, might be right around that 2K pace, and that might be something that we want to maintain, okay? Uh, as far as uh, the damper setting... So if it's something you pay attention to, you know what it is, keep that at your normal one, okay? Uh, I know I keep mine in the four to five range, and I'll keep that uh, around that high four range tomorrow. Uh, if you're used to six, keep it there. If you don't know what your damper setting is, uh, something to pay attention to in the next year and make sure that you know what that is. But four to six in that range would be good for tomorrow. Definitely not on that eight, nine, ten scale, okay? Uh, as far as the deadlifts and double unders go, uh, keep those unbroken as long as that deadlift is light. If that's a challenging weight or just not a really light weight for you, breaking that up is okay into two sets. Uh, then double unders, as long as you have the ability, go unbroken. Otherwise, we just got to work through that, okay? Um, just grind through that if that's where you're at. Uh, the next uh, and last thing I'll cover here is transitions, okay? Be smooth getting in and out of the rower. Uh, make sure that's set up so you can slide those feet in and out of those straps. Uh, otherwise, that's going to eat up a lot of time, okay? Uh, as far as getting over to that deadlift, just get over to it. Uh, if you need a couple seconds to transition, that's okay. Uh, but ideally, we're getting on that bar as soon as we can. It's a relatively moderately light weight. Uh, and then for that jump rope, when we set that jump rope down every time, make sure we set it up so we can grab it and just go, okay? If you toss the rope, if you throw the rope, uh, when you get done with the round, as you go over to the rower, that's just not going to lead us to good, quick transitions. So uh, just stay smooth, good luck, and have fun.